hello everyone and welcome back to the channel once again and for this video once again i'm to, i'm going to try out two brand new pokemons that have just got introduced uh, as a new move update the first one is going to be tentacruel with scald and the second one is going to be dove wool with double kick uh, over here so tentacruel has just got so much so buffed up because of scald getting uh, replaced like Hydro Pump getting replaced with Scald, which is a huge update because now you can uh, get to Scald with 8% jabs and you have the uh, beating wild debuffing opportunity with Acid Spray also, which is huge, huge. And with Dove Wool, it has uh, got so many, uh, like it have, it have got so good matchups over here because of its moveset. And it is kind of a good safe swap along with Vigoroth also. And we know that how good Vigoroth is as a safe swap. So that level have uh, got into uh, for, for Wool as well because of its moveset of Body Slam and its coverage from Wild Charge or Payback. So you guys can run any one of the ch secondary charge move, but depending on the team what you have. So for this team, uh, I have got lead with Tentacruel, the safe swap of Wool and a closure of uh, Trevenant over here. So I, I found out that uh, Trevenant and Tentacruel uh, core works out really good. So that is the reason I'm using them uh, together. And Dovewool is good, good, such a good safe swap. And for this team, I'm running Payback, but uh, after some time, I'll be switching over to uh, Wild Charge. So heading over to the first battle and let's check out uh, over here. So moving into the first battle, I pick up a lead with uh, Galvantul over here which is not a great lead because as you guys can see this uh, this Volt Switch and Discharges do add up really quickly to which now I'll be shielding up the first Discharge over here and I'll be going for the next uh, Acid Spray Bait over here which I think they'll be thinking that as a Scald which they'll end up shielding which which they does which I am fine with and now I have to catch the next Discharge onto my Dove Volt. So this is the gameplay which I had in my mind from the beginning that I have to catch the next Discharge onto my Dove Volt, which I do perfectly to which I bait out uh, I, I bait out uh, Azumarill over here. So for Azumarill since I am running Payback it is not that of a good matchup so that is the reason uh, some like after, after a couple of matches I think I will be switching over to uh, the, uh, wild charge over here because I, I saw many uh, flyers maybe like Skarmory or uh, uh, water like uh, Azumarill came in very frequently so that is the reason I'll be switching over to wild charge to which now I'll be uh, they will be able to farm me down over here but from this kind of range they cannot one shot me with anything because everything that uh, uh, as my have access to is going to be registered by my tentacle over here to which now I go for the acid spray with a, a definitely very undercharge over here and now from this kind of range since the attack since the defense is dropped so I can easily go for the farm down which makes me uh, which uh, makes me possible for the next scald I think but I definitely switch into my trevenant over here which now they switch swaps out into their own real steel which is very good because now for this kind of range my uh, trevenant with shield advantage not shield but energy advantage can easily handle real steel over here to which then they will be going for the next zap cannon which uh, does not debuff this time so that's very fortunate and now for this kind of range since the real steel is very low i'll be going for the one seed bomb over here to get the final shield but Let's see. So then let's it go over here to which now I'll be going for the next seed bomb once again. And since uh, I'm also very low, so I thought of catching the next charge move onto my Tentacruel as my uh, switch timer is back up, which I do perfectly and I catch the next discharge or maybe lunge onto my Tentacruel over here. Uh, though I had one shield, but I did it for uh, like just for fun and flex. So that will be uh, end to a good game over here. Moving on to the next matchup, I pick up a lead with... Uh, this is going to be Linon over here, which is Gallery and Linon, and to which now they will be going for the first Body Slam. So Body Slam is neutral over here, which is I am fine with. And since uh, every like people tend to uh, like leave the first move unshielded, so that is the reason I'll be going for Scald that hits for so much damage over here. This from this kind of range, and they cannot farm me down, or they cannot uh, like go for uh, one Body Slam and get the knockout definitely which is not enough and now from this kind of range i can eventually get they can eventually get to our next body slam as well which i'm happy with because now i can shield and load up a ton of ton of energy 
which is really good because whatever they should be coming back with it should be getting hit with the acid spray that might get the first shield and also get the defense drop as well that is the potential from tentacruel which is really good and now since attack is dropped i die with the move unfortunately but since the defense is dropped over here i can easily come back with my double and as you guys can see this double kick is chunking onto this uh high dragon over here so they went for the uh so they went for the dark pulse over here that he's for neutral and they comes back with a water gun uh, uh stun uh water gun swamp out over here so this is not good because i have to i do have a perfect counter for swamp uh with me which is going to be trevenant and after loading up to back to back seed bombs i'll be going for the first seed bomb so this might get the shield which which it does and now after building up once uh, like a bit of extra energy, I'll be going for the next seed bomb once again. So this will ensure the knockout for this vampire, and let's see uh, if they come. Yeah, they have to come back with the high dragon and from high dragon. Uh, they can farm me down, but I have got a bit of loaded uh, dove wool over here with body slam, which just will be enough to get the knockout for this high dragon as well, which is very squishy and get the win for the second battle here as well. So GG's to my opponent. A really well played. Moving into the next matchup, I pick up a lead with uh, a Deoxys Defense. So this is going to be a very tough lead because they have access to Thunderbolt and Psycho Boost. Both hits for super effective damage. So that is the reason I'll be going for the first called, which have the potential to uh, lower the attack, which I did. So since uh, it, the attack is lowered, so I'll be letting the first Psycho Boost go through and they went for the back-to-back -back Psycho Boost once again. So they are triple debuff right now so i have to let this charge move go through once again which does not knock me out and from this kind of range i'll be able to reach to one more scald which is going to be really nice because uh, this will either get the shield or get the knockout which i am happy with and i get the knockout over here too is now they comes back with their own obstagoon so obstagoon uh, does not want to face a devil over here because uh, of, like devil is very bulky like not very bulky but it's kind of bulky and uh it hits for double super effective with the double double uh, kick over here and as you guys can see i have switched over to wild charge in this matchup and uh, i think this is going to be a better uh option in this in this meta over here so that is the reason i have switched it over to which now i'll be letting the i'll be shielding up the next charge move which is going to be cross chop which is definitely good and now from this kind of range i have a shield deficit but since they comes back with their own Galadian stun fisk over here i thought uh, so payback would ha have been more better over here but nevertheless uh, I'll be going for back to back body slams over here to uh, get a bit of chip damage and they cannot farm me down from this kind of range that's absolutely not possible because uh, yeah Mudshot does not do too much damage so that is the reason they have to throw so I'll be letting the charge move go through once again and I believe I a full health Trevenant is going to be have enough HP and uh, put out enough damage to get the knockout for this uh stun fisk over here gladian stun fisk over here with uh like event shield scenario to which now they'll be going for the back to back rock slides over here which i'm i'm happy to take with yeah i can take uh back to back rock slides and now i'll be going for the next seed bomb so seed bomb though it is uh neutral this time but it does not get the knockout so i have to get the final shield from my opponent which i do and now i'll be going for the shadow ball which is just going to be enough to get the knockout and that will be all uh, for this game over here because the sunfish is going to be knocked out with the shadow ball and give the win for the third battle for me so ggs to my opponent well played Moving into the fourth battle over here and pick up a tough lead over here again with uh, Altaria over here. So uh, Altaria is really tough to handle because I don't have a really hard resist to Altaria. So I'll be uh, going for the first call over here and as you guys can see this is a very high ranked uh, tentacle which is very tanky. Tentacle, tentacle is also very tanky and I, I went for the first call over here which gets the attack drop and now I can even get to the next scald as well which i think might get the first shield from my opponent's end which i do and i am very happy with that because uh the core of trevenant and uh dove wool is kind of strong as well uh so let's see uh if i can handle the matchup of altaria with a shield advantage onto my 
uh, onto my uh, Trevenant over here. So for Trevenant, I will be doing neutral damage with the Shadow Claws, which is uh, really adding up. And now from this kind of range, I'll be going for a CMP tie, which I believe I'm going to win every time and I get the final hit from my opponent. So this tells me that whatever they have in the back is uh, going to be very, very weak in the backline which is going to be the same is the case because they comes back with their own uh, hypno over here so hypno will not appreciate this shadow ball absolutely absolutely not because they'll be going uh, to face shadow ball and get the knockout from that kind of range and they now comes back with their own swampert over here so swampert also will not uh, accept this seed bomb over here which does get one shot from that kind of range as well and from this kind of range i can easily get the farm down with shadow claw and eventually get the game for the fourth battle here as well so trevenant tearing apart their whole team over here so moving into the final battle of the video and this set i pick up a lead of shadow uh, uh shadow sableye over here so for sableye uh since uh it is going to be a neutral matchup, so I'll be uh, shielding up the first foul play and now I'll be going for the Scald. So I shield up the first foul play because uh, if I get the attack drop with Scald, then I can let the next uh, Scald's uh, next foul plays go through, which I do and eventually get the attack drop as well, which is very much fortunate for me and now I'll be letting the foul play go through, which is very much fine because now I'm up a shield. Uh, sorry, my opponent is up a shield, but I have got shield advantage. Uh, I have got uh, like a switch and energy advantage over here to which I'll be going for the next called once again which does land and gets the attack drop so that is huge and they cannot farm me down because of the attack drop over, attack drop over, over here so they'll be throwing the next dark pulse over here because my tentacle was going to reach to the next called very uh, close and from this kind of range since they are uh, kind of debuffed so I'll be going for the next uh, seed bomb over here which does ensure the knockout or the final shield from my opponent's end. So they'll be opting to uh, big ward in the first shield. So they'll be opting to shield the first one and I potentially catch one shadow ball onto my dove wool over here which is going to be very nice. And now from this kind of range they comes back with a poison jab Elan mark which is going to be really nice because I don't have to face this Elan mark which is uh, really tanky with my Trevenant over here. So I can go for neutral damage with my own Dove Wool over here and that is the reason I'll be coming back and catching that uh, Shadow Ball onto my Dove Wool. And since Dove Wool is uh, kind of tanky, so I'll be going for the next uh, Wild Touch over here. So that ensures they will be getting the minimal farm onto my Dove Wool and from this kind of range, I can easily get to one Shadow Ball. But what I have to look for is a potential catch onto their own Coffer Grigus, which is very low and dry on energy. So I'm quite sure that they'll be ending up catching the next move. So I anticipated that and I easily farmed the whole Coffer Kriegers down. And now I'll be going for the next Shadow Ball, which does neutral damage uh, in this scenario as well. But since the Elan Mark is very low, I can easily get the win for the fifth battle as well and taking a 5-0 victory with this team over here. So this team worked out really good for me. That's why I pick up the 5-0 and if you guys can give it a try as well. So uh, that will be all for this video again and see you again in the next one. Till then, peace.